Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat some over one week out of date roasted vegetable garland. Now, there's a news story today about somebody called Kevin McCarthy who has been elected to the US House as to become US House Speaker after 15 attempts. Um, which is unheard of, um, apparently, in American history or something like that. Um, I don't know the full story, but there you go. Um, it's it's not normal. And basically, um, I could not have known that a week ago. Okay? On the back, this would normally have been £5.50. I got, it was due to expire the same day. When I, I bought it, so that was why I got it for £1.38. And now I'm going to open it up. So inside it looks like this. It's got this sort of crisscrossy pattern. And it claims... It's parsnip, butternut squash, sweet potato and cranberries wrapped in puff pastry. Now cranberries is generally Christmas food. So I don't know if this is Christmas food or not. I don't know if I should um, put on my Santa hat or not. To be absolutely honest, I have my Santa hat here. But I'm not sure if this is really Santa Christmas food or not. Um, I don't see any... Oh, maybe it is, because I can see some, like, flower things there, but I'm not sure. So, anyway, I'm not sure if this is Christmas food or not. It doesn't look that Christmassy, so I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to break some of this off, like so. I'm not going to have all of it now. And here you've got it inside. Some of this might be a bit doughy, so might be a bit French, it might be going a bit scary, I'm not sure. I think maybe if it had been more fresh, it would be more moist and not quite as stiff, possibly. It's edible, perfect edible, doesn't taste disgusting, but probably doesn't have a lot of taste, but to be fair, I think that's entirely down to the fact that um, it's one week out of date, not probably to anything else. I can taste some tasting it, but as I said, if I go here and I just get you some bits from it, I'm not concentrating on this so much. And the pastry, then, um, that gets much more juicy. So, it's probably just that the pastry's going a bit stale because you know, I haven't got round to eating it as I have other things. Um, on the back, As an introduction by a presumably the company owners. And it says, Hi, we're Derek and Chad. And this is what it says We're chefs and brothers who craft humble vegetables into the stuff of food legends. Everything we create is a bold marriage of delicate and punchy flavours, crunchy textures. And all with knife sharp attention to detail. We're proud graduates of the University of Common Sense who simply believe that eating more veg, and they did just say veg, they didn't say vegetables, they just said veg. That's not a proper word, that's an abbreviation. It's good for you and good for the planet. And, um, 
It tells you can recycle a whole box, but it tells you, you cannot recycle what they call the window. I think that's really the plastic film, okay? But they call it the window. And tells you not to recycle it. Um, and this is obviously made for Tesco because it's got um, the Tesco address there. They call it Wicked Kitchen. And obviously this is made for Tesco, so I don't know if this is one of these fake brands, I mean fake's not really the right word, but, um, <coughs> you know, in real terms, Tesco created lots of what I would call fake brands, which are really Tesco brands in disguise, okay, to hide the fact that they were actually really Tesco's own food, okay, and branded food, and they did this to try to counteract what some supermarkets were doing, like Aldi, well, they were using, um, Brands that nobody's ever heard of, frankly, right? But they were cheaper brands, and so most of those brought up their own set of brands that nobody had previously heard of for their own food, just to try to compete with it rather than saying Tesco value or other things, okay? So the casual person would just assume it was a different brand, a real brand, rather than I mean, I have to be careful because legally they're real brands, otherwise Tesco could get into a lot of trouble, but, you know, you know what I mean. In, in principle, a brand set up by Tesco, which, um, you know, a part of the Tesco group, rather than, you know, food companies that have complete food companies in their own right that are not in any way owned or by a supermarket, you know, officially. So anyway, there you go, guys. It's nice, but I think it would be better if it was fresher. But that's my fault, not mine. So the pastries are going a bit stale. It's not quite as fresh, or it's getting a bit stiff. But to be fair, you expect that. Otherwise, it's perfectly edible. Will I have it again? Um. Probably not a £5.50 to be completely honest with you, but if it was cheap, say they were getting rid of them and they were still in date and I don't know, they've just bought, they've just had too many on their hands or something, yes. I need to be fair, but I don't want to pay £5.50 to find out whether they like to fresh, but anyway. I'm not sure if this is Christmas food or not. And normally anything to do with cranberries is Christmas food, usually, over here. But, it, I don't, it doesn't have any, a lot of Christmassy type, um, things to it, so I have no idea. Apart from these little things here. So I'm not sure if this is Christmas food or not. But there you go, guys. Roasted vegetable garden. Oh, the bottom it says, Spruce brings up vibrant roasted butternut squash and parsnip with sweet cranberries and coated in flaky puff pastry. Okay, guys. I'm not going to eat all of it. I'm just going to eat some of it. Okay, I'll probably eat this as I go over the over the course of the day or something. Okay, whenever I feel like it. You get this hot or cold, by the way. So, I'm making it cold with simplicity. But you can heat this up as well in the oven, okay? And you can heat it in the oven for 25 minutes, but it says you cannot um, heat it from frozen and you cannot put it in the microwave, okay? You just take that specifically there. And there are some cooking instructions. Okay, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye!